Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Komal Kavar Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing great. So in this video, I'm going to explain the model selection criteria in econometric. See, there are several criteria that have been used to choose among competing models and to compare models for forecasting purposes. So the criteria that I'm going to explain in this video R, R square, adjusted R square, archive information criteria, cost information criteria, Mellow's CP criteria, and the forecast chi square. Okay, see all these criteria aim at minimizing the residual sum of square or increasing the R square value. Okay, so let's begin with the first one that is. The R square, the R square formula is explain sum of square divided by the total sum of square. Okay, so R square is one of the measures of goodness of fit of a regression model and the value of R square is between 0 and 1. The closer the value to 1, the better is the fit. So if you are comparing two models and the model which has a R square value closer to 1, that one would be a better model. Okay. The next is the adjusted R square and the formula for adjusted R square is 1 minus within bracket 1 minus R square into n minus 1 divided by n minus k where R square is the usual R square coefficient of determination. n is the number of observations and k is the number of parameters, okay? And the value of adjusted R square is less than or equal to R square. For comparative purposes, the adjusted R square is a better measure than R square. But the dependent variable must be the same for the comparison to be valid, okay? The next is the archaic information criteria, AIC. So the formula of uh, AIC is e to the power 2k divided by n into residual sum of squares RSS divided by n. k here is the number of regressors including the intercept and n again is the number of observations. So in comparing two or more models, the model with the lowest value of AIC is preferred. Okay. The next is the squad's information criteria, SIC, and the formula for SIC is n raised to the power k upon n into residual sum of squares divided by n. Again here, n is the number of observations and k is the number of regressors including the intercept. Okay, and RSS is the residual sum of squares. So like AIC, in case of SIC, or if you are following the cost information criteria, the lower the value of SIC, the better would be the model. Okay. The next is the CP criteria, and the formula is RSS P divided by sigma square minus n minus 2p. So in case of CP criteria, a model with low CP value is chosen. Okay. The last one or least followed criteria is the forecast chi-square criteria. So the forecast chi-square criteria or the test has weak statistical power. So this means that the probability that the test will correctly reject a false null hypothesis is low. And because of this reason, the test is therefore used as a signal rather than a definitive test. So usually followed model selection criteria are R square, adjusted R square, AIC and SIC. Okay. So if you want to compare two models or which model is the better model for forecasting purposes, you can follow these criteria and you can check the value. 
So as I explained in the video, based upon the value of that particular criteria, you can select or compare model or which model is the better model for forecasting purposes. Okay. So by following these criteria, you can select your models for forecasting purposes or which is the better fit or which model is the better fit for forecasting. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share and subscribe the video. Have a good day.